My name is Dr. Reginald Lee. I'm the creator. And with the help of my developers, we have developed a program that VR self-defense enhancement training in virtual reality, whereby you can practice your skills on a platform in virtual reality with the use of a headset, an Oculus Quest or an Oculus Rift. With this headset, you'll be transported to a platform in virtual reality whereby you will engage an attacker that will attack you when you least expect it. Suddenly, randomly, with random attacks. So I'm gonna place this headset on and bring you to that platform in virtual reality. We are now in a dojo setting whereby the first phase of the program, you are presented with an acknowledgement presentation. Once you read it, basically it tells you in regards to basically this program is very physical and to acknowledge the program by putting your hand through the ball, like so. You'll be faced with another presentation which discusses the program in regards to how the program works. As you read this program, it tells you that by grabbing the attacker's wrist, you are creating a one to three second pause whereby it allows you to practice your skills in virtual reality. Normally, when you touch someone, it's human nature that you create a distraction or a pause. And we're implementing that in this program whereby you create a one to three second pause, whereby you can practice your techniques and your skills in virtual reality for neutralization. In front of you, you'll see three balls floating, punching, kicking, and knife attacks. You're presented with these options. You can pick what uh, attack you would like to proceed in. On the right-hand side, you'll see a calendar with metrics. This calendar will record your progress in regards to how you're doing in each experience. So you can always go back to see how you progressed over time as you practice your skills in self-defense. So with these options, I choose the punch program, where the attacker will come and punch you. I put my hand through the ball very quickly. You will see five balls floating, tutorial, practice, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Tutorial ball basically will tell you about the program, the practice session, you will be placed in the experience, but it will not be recording the metrics. Phase one, phase two, phase three are programs whereby they will do the recording of your metrics. And as you progress to phase three, the complexity of the attack will increase. So I'll choose phase two. Put my hand through the ball. You're placed in a setting where the attacker will suddenly attack you by touching his arm or wrist. You create a one to three second pause, allows you for neutralization. You can move angular, which I am here doing so, whereby you can tack below, midsection, or head, or you can move circular to avoid tacking that way, or you tack linear. To 
continue to avoid if you would like to do so. Put them in the lock, choke. Tack him from behind. Tack his legs. Tack his spine. And so forth. The next program I'll choose is a knife attack. Put your hand through the ball like so. And you get to choose from the five floating balls which you prefer to be in. I choose phase two. This program will attack ah. first. The next attack I like to choose is the kicking attack. As I mentioned before, you can choose any uh, attack you want, but since I've already been through the punching and knife uh, scenarios, I'm choosing the kick kicking attack now. Put my hand through the sphere. You get to choose the phase that you want, or you can choose the practice with the tutorial session. So I'll choose again phase two. The attacker will punch me first to set up the program and then he'll commence with the kicks. What I like to do is I like to destroy his legs by doing this, getting behind him and it's also attacking the spine. You can evade moving angular. Or behind him. To practice your evasion. We just completed our program in set VR, self-defense, enhancement training, and virtual reality. Visit our website at setvr.app. Thank you.